How's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be covering five tips that's gonna help you when you're starting your first HVAC job. Let's do some work. This video is brought to you by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. And by RLS, original, patented, proven. All right, so the first tip is gonna be show up early. So on your first day, your second day, your 30th day, doesn't matter. Show up to work early 10 to 15 minutes and just show to your workers, your coworkers, your boss, whoever it is, that you're there, you're prepared, and you're ready to go. That actually goes a very long way. Just being there, being present, and being on time, I mean, it seems simple enough, but oddly enough, a lot of people don't do it. They show up right at the last minute or maybe a few minutes too late, um, there's always there was a saying going around that if you're early you're on time and if you're on time you're late All right, so that was a quick little test and maintenance, get everything kind of cleaned up. This customer is really good about getting their systems maintained, so it's really not bad, it's pretty quick. We just got that one condenser that's underneath that magnolia tree, so I gotta make sure I dive down in there and get all those leaves out, keep it nice and clean. But that's gonna lead me to tip number two for the day, and that's gonna be take notes. While you're working with someone, or even if it's simple things like, how the office wants you to do a certain thing, like certain paperwork being filled out a certain way, whatever it is, throughout the day, use the notes app in your phone, whatever it is. When I was younger, we didn't have phones like that. So I used a, a small uh, pocket notepad and a pen. But whatever it is, whatever works for you, just take notes throughout the day. You know, by all means, I'm not saying stay on your phone all the time, but while you're driving to and from a job, or if you're taking a break for lunch, just take some notes throughout the day, and so that way you can reflect on those at the end of the day. You know, have you know, start a thread where every uh, you date every day, 
and then you keep those notes you know don't delete them that way you can always go back and you can reflect on them um, whether if it's your your lead man you know talking about this is how we do a certain thing or or how he wants something done whatever it is you know it doesn't have to be a ton of notes but just take notes um, as an employer if they see you doing this I mean they're just gonna be like wow this you know this person is really caring about their job they really care about learning and doing things the way that the employer wants them to do and ultimately that's what we want to see so tip number two take notes Right, got that capacitor replaced. I was actually here doing a maintenance uh, just the other day and I found that capacitor to be a little low, lower than the tolerance that uh, the manufacturer recommends. So uh, my initial intention was to get the factory replacement. It's a 45 slash 10 microfarad run capacitor for that ream unit. Uh, that way you could go back into that factory location, but nobody had one. So I decided to go with those AMRAD uh, Turbo 200s. Uh, I actually really like those capacitors. They come with a five year warranty. And um, you know, they're multi-use, they have multi-taps. You can configure them however you need to. So they're definitely more expensive, but they're a very high quality run capacitor. So. I definitely uh, love using those and having those on the truck. Okay, so that's gonna lead me to my next point. Um, it's gonna be paying attention to details. So in my mind, no matter what you're doing, 
whether if you're helping someone, you're carrying tools, you're bringing parts, you are filling out a timesheet, doesn't matter. Whatever you're doing, just be present as much as you possibly can and pay attention to the details because that's really gonna show to the employer that, again, that you care about what you're doing and, um, and you're gonna do the best job that you possibly can. If you're not paying attention to your surroundings, you just, you're just not gonna do a good job. You're not gonna perform very well. Um, you're not gonna be very efficient. So paying attention to the details for me is very big. So what do I mean by that? For an example, um, you know, if you're helping somebody do a job and you notice that they're doing the same thing over and over, and uh, you know, they put one tool down, they have to pick up another, then they have to go back to that tool, whatever it is, pay attention to those small details to where you can go ahead and have that tool ready for them. Um, or, you know, when you are grabbing something out of the truck or van, pay attention to where it was exactly. So that way when you go to put it back, you're not just throwing it in there or not caring where you put it at all. You know, a lot of people care about that. I do. So if you're gonna go and grab something off my truck, a tool, a part, and you need to put it back, pay attention to the details because you'll be able to put it right back where it belongs. And you know, these are small things as far as these, these tips go, they're 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 pretty small, but they carry a lot of weight and which makes them very important. These are just the basics when it comes to um, you know, working with anybody, working for a company, for a customer, whatever it is. So anyhow, paying attention to the details is going to make you a much better um, employee, worker, uh, whatever it is. It's just going to allow you to do a much better job because you're actually paying attention to what's going on around you and what needs to be done. So I've seen a lot of people where they're just kind of standing around, you know, thinking about something else or whatever it is. They're not really in tune with what's going on. And um, to me, it's super important to pay attention to the details. I got that condensate pump replaced and uh, got it primed. Check to make sure it's pumping. We're in good shape. So as you can tell, the old pump had a crack in the actual uh, the reservoir part of it. So um, it was high enough to where it wasn't actually leaking water, but obviously if there's a crack, you need to go ahead and replace that. That was something that I found doing the maintenance on this job as well. So today was basically just kind of Coming back to both these jobs and getting the parts 
replaced that needed replaced. So, all right, so that's gonna lead me to tip number four. And that's gonna be to listen and ask questions. So obviously if you're working with people, working with someone during the day, uh, the number one thing you can do is just to listen. You know, keep your mouth shut as much as you possibly can and just pay attention and listen, listen, listen. And then you ask questions. Um, the one thing you want to keep in mind though with this is that you're not asking too many questions and you're listening more. You're listening more than you, than you ask questions. So, um, so basically what that's going to do is it allows you to just absorb a lot of information. And so if you're working with someone and you know, you're listening to them on how they do things and how they want things and you just absorb all that information and then going back to tip number three, taking notes. Um, but you want to listen as much as you possibly can. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> paying attention to your surroundings with who you're working with or the office people, if they like something done a certain way, like just listen as much as you possibly can. I guarantee you, you're gonna learn a lot in a very short amount of time. And then you follow up with that <clears throat> with any questions that you have. So if you, you know, if you're listening to something and you're like, yeah, I don't quite understand something, obviously ask the question. Don't just sit around and not ask those questions. You need to verify to make sure what you're doing or what you're gonna do is what they want. So those go hand in hand. Listening as much as you possibly can and then asking the right questions. Right, so I got that system cleaned up. It's running good. Two Lennox systems. I gotta give it to Lennox on those uh, condenser coil guards. Those things are really easy to take on and off to be able to clean the coil. So, really enjoyed that. All right, so that leads us to our fifth and final tip of today. And that's gonna be do your homework. So what I mean by that is when you're working Take home a manual, service manual, install manual, thermostat manual, uh, whatever, All right? Go home, do some homework, study. If you know, if you know you're gonna be working on a certain piece of equipment the next day, uh, find the model number and you know pull it up on the Blue On app or whatever. There's so many ways to be able to pull up information and um, be able to do some studying at home. So that's what I would highly recommend. You don't have to spend a ton of your time because you know you do need some family life or some personal time outside of work. But I, I would recommend 30 minutes to, to an hour. I mean, that's plenty for you to just sit down and you know study, do some homework. I guarantee you, you will learn so much so quickly if you do that on a consistent basis. Um, you know, Blue On, their app is phenomenal for being able to pull up any manual for pretty much any unit so I would 
definitely check out that app. Um, super easy to use. And then, of course, you know, you can listen to podcasts. You could watch YouTube videos. Um, you could, you know, order b certain books off Amazon. Um, you know, there's just so many things you can do. But just commit to doing some homework every day, and you're going to learn a lot really fast. So but that's going to complete today's video, guys. I hope you got something out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later. Woo!